I'm over here. Go ahead. Okay, this is a uh, this is a technique that you can use on an opponent uh, who is weary. You can you can use this on submission grappling. Uh, you can also use it uh, in MMA. Uh, basically, if an opponent is tired and uh, they're using their guard as a defensive mechanism and they're not working an aggressive guard, it's tough to do this on somebody who's working an aggressive guard. But if they're on their back, they're kind of winded and they're trying to trap you with their legs, you always want to be respectful of your opponent's guard. So you want to have your hand in, you, know, you want to keep your elbows tucked, and you want to go initially into their hip abductor. And as you move up, and always be wary because he could grab your wrist, you want to come here, you want to take just above his ear, and you want to take this bone, it's a sharp bone, come under and crank the neck while you simultaneously jab your knee in and you're cranking his neck, see? So basically what you're doing is you're doing a neck crank and you're jamming your knee in. So you're setting yourself up so as you do it, so you can pass and you can get to side control. Uh, we'll do this one more time, really slow. He's tired. Could be you just took him down. This is uh, his, um, we don't have it, we can't if you want. So he's taken down, keeping your, your elbows in, you grind it into his hip abductor, you're constantly keeping your elbows tucked. You're coming in with the knee, coming under his head, coming over with the sharp bolt. You're cranking as you're driving the knee, and then you're gonna look to pass. So it's a, it's a good uh, technique to use. You're probably not gonna get a guy to tap. However, there are certain circumstances, particularly in submission grappling tournaments, where a guy is winded and he's looking to tap, and you may even be able to get a tap. Uh, so thanks, everybody.